Welcome back to the Neighborhood Go-To Guy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a compression test. Today we're going to be working on a steel F555RC, but this test will work for any small engine. Now when we take the compression test, it needs to be somewhere in the 70 to 90 PSI range. And here's the compression kit I got from Harbor Freight. It was like $20, $25. It's a pretty good investment if you're going to do this kind of work. And if you're not going to use it a whole lot, maybe you can get a couple buddies going on it. Five bucks a piece, then you guys can share it. First thing I want to do is pull the boot off the spark plug, and then we'll take the spark plug off. Since we're right here, let's check out the spark plug. Not bad. Find the proper fitting that goes down into the spark plug hole. You don't want this to be super tight, but you want it to be tight enough so that no air escapes giving you a false reading. Next, I'll attach this hose. It's attached and the gauge itself. We're going to squeeze the trigger so it's full throttle, and then pull on the string maybe six to ten times, and then get the reading. As you can see, we're right in the range where there might be some problematic symptoms. Now at this point, the most inexpensive repair could be checking out your spark arrestor. That could be why the compression is low. Hopefully that's the case. We clean that out. The PSI goes back up on the compression and should fire right up. Now the spark arrestor is that little whole thing in there. See it? I'm going to put a socket around that and remove it. And as it heats up, it'll burn that carbon right off. Now look at it. You can see right through it. So now we'll reinstall it and then take another compression reading. And as you can see, we gained 11 PSI just by cleaning that out. We'll prime the ball a few times, slap the choke on. Now we got ourselves a weed ear that starts right up. Sounds like the uh, carburetor needs adjusted just a little bit, but hey, it's working. Now hopefully this video proved helpful if you're looking as to why your weed whacker isn't starting or maybe it has low compression. This is how you clean the spark arrestor and take the compression test. If you're in a small engine repair, subscribe to my channel, Neighborhood Go-To Guy, and I'll see you next time.